Hi, uh, this is Sam from Upstage. I'm a co-founder and the CEO of Upstage. Today, I have a great news. Uh, we are currently making solar LLM, and then the solar LLM is now available at AWS SageMake Jumpstart. So I want to talk about uh, this with uh, my dear friends, Chani Yoon. Thank you, sir. Uh, hi. I am Chani Yoon, a uh, developer advocate and working for Amazon Web Services. Uh, my job is for developers to enable AWS services for building modern applications on the cloud. Uh, great to introduce how to use all our foundation models on Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart for building generative AI applications. Okay. Um, Amazon SageMaker uh, is a fully managed machine learning services to prepare data. Uh, build, train, and deploy machine learning models for any use case uh, with uh, fully managed infrastructure tools and workflow. Uh, to make it easier to getting started, you can use Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart. Uh, this is an ML hub uh, to easily di uh, discover over 400 built-in models and deploy rapidly uh, with uh, just a few clicks. Uh, this model come with pre-built training and inferencing script uh, that are uh, comfortable with the SageMaker and configuration with custom data set. Uh, you can use this script, the example notebooks in the web-based IDA called SageMaker Studio or uh, through API for programmatic uh, access. Uh, if you have a uh, collaborator uh, in your company, uh, you can share model uh, and notebook with others for co-working. Uh, you can use a uh, famous foundation model in SageMaker Jumpstart to build generative AI applications. Uh, we provide a broad se selection of the priority and open source foundation model. Uh, you can try out the upstage solar model directly on the uh, AWS management console or deploy to EC2 instance on SageMaker. Uh, you can also customize and fine tune your model in the SageMaker Studio. Uh, the SageMaker SDK and the uh, SageMaker console and uh, automated machine learning workflow. Uh, all data and log from these models stay in your account. Uh, your solar models are deployed to SageMaker and they, they are fully compatible with the full suite of uh, SageMaker services and features. Uh, now, um, would you introduce how to uh, use the solar model in the SageMaker Jumpstart? Right. So our solar model has been actually opened. We put in the hugging phase. You can download it as an open model. And in addition to that, we put more data set and then we make it better. And then we put in the, our console. So you can just go to the console. And then this is fully managed API. Just you can, you can use this endpoint. You can just call it uh, with no time. But the problem is if you are dealing with some sensitive data set or your customers uh, care about the data, their data, you want to put this uh, model, LLMs, on your private area in AWS, right? So then how can you do that? So I think one of the ways that we can just uh, copy this model to somewhere, and then uh, you have to serve yourself and then check everything. It's uh, too, maybe it's uh, too, too much of the work. But if you are using AWS uh, Jumpstart, you can just uh, really do by just uh, one click, just to deploy, that's it. So that's what I want to show you together. So if you are um, around the computer, you can just even follow me and then experience everything. So uh, first of all, you can go into the AWS console and then you select the SageMaker and then you select SageMaker Studio, that's it, right? Once you have uh, Studio running in the menu, what you can see is the Jumpstart right there. So you can select Jumpstart and then from there, you can see a lot of uh, foundation models there. You can see upstage, you can select either upstage or you can simply search solar. Then you're gonna see a bunch of models like there, right? So we basically have uh, two models. Currently we have a chat model, we have a small size quantization applied model. There are two models. You can select based on your needs. And then uh, you can just stop select that and then put uh, deploy. That's basically it. But you are in the first time trying to solar. We ask that oh, you want to subscribe about the solar. And then we basically accept the offer. 
and then you're gonna see the deploy button one more time and you deploy it. That's it. And then you're gonna wait a few seconds, few minutes, you're gonna see uh, it just successfully created the endpoint. Just memorize this endpoint and that's it. Basically, once you have this uh, running, you can access this solar LLM from anywhere in your private cloud area using Python, any language you can do that. You can use Lambda, you can use Notebook, everything. Today, we're gonna show you quickly how we're gonna do that using Notebook. So how are you gonna run this Notebook? Go to the SageMaker again, and then Jupyter Lab, and then you can create a Notebook space. Here, give it a name, and then you select an instance. Here, because it's Notebook, you can use a very small size of the uh, CPU instance, and then you can launch this Notebook. And then here is the code. So simple, just a few lines of the code. First of all, you're gonna just get the photo three client, and then get the SageMaker runtime, right? And then the next thing you need to know is just the name of the endpoint that you already got uh, from the deployment. And um, and then the input is exactly the same format as a uh, OpenAI format. So it's a message list with uh, a role and content pairs. And then once you fill the entire messages, you can just pass it uh, and then just invoke endpoint. That's it. So simple, and you're gonna get the results. It's coming from the solar LLM. So how it's so simple, right? And then the price. Uh, if you check the price based on your instance, what kind of instances you're gonna select, you can have a different price. But this is our recommended instance types. Then um, based on, on the token size, you probably get around uh, less than around the one or two dollars range, which is I think pretty reasonable for the private use of the solar LLM. Yeah, so now you finish the, the entire uh, lab. So once you finish it, of course, if you're using this endpoint for your real service, it's okay, you can run 24 hours. But if you just uh, try it out, you make sure that turn off uh, these GPU instances. Delete endpoint and then uh, delete space. And then also you can double check that, uh, go to the SageMaker one more time, running instance. See everything is clean, right? Then you're done. Yeah, that's great news. Thank you for uh introduction. So let's build your own generative AI application with Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart. Use the upstages or solar model.